it's Catherine from Jane Catherine on Books and here we are with Book A Day, Day 26. So we're Day 26 of UK Lockdown and um, I've got one of my favourites here for you today. This is The Bone Sparrow by Zanna Freilion and this is a YA um, but it's a book that I think everybody should read. Now for those that have been with me a while and welcome to all my new subscribers since I've been doing book a day. Nice to have you here. Um, yeah, those that have been with me a while will know that I do like to read books about refugees and um, it's something that, that really interests me and I think it's important that their voices are heard. And oh, this is just... Oh, Crikey, it makes you laugh, it makes you cry. Um, this is about um, a boy called Subby and he was actually born in an immigration centre in Australia. So this is based in Australia and uh, many people did, uh, did go over to Australia from the former uh, Yugoslavia as refugees in Australia and there's a lovely lady uh, called Natasha from Treasured Books on YouTube um, who uh, exactly that that's what happened to her and she's got a lovely channel and she's very creative so if any of you um, are like me and you like to do journaling and junk journaling and sewing and all things paper crafting then go and check Natasha out on treasured books she's a lovely lady um yeah so this is set in this immigration camp and really it's the story of of subby and his family and how they're having to live in this camp the treatment in the camp from uh, the the australian guards and he makes a friend with uh with jimmy uh, she's a young girl that is Australian, similar age to him, but she's the other side of the fence. So obviously she lives just up the road from the um, immigration refugee camp. So there's big fencing all the way round and they have lovely conversations through this fence and make, um, make lovely friendship there. I uh, just want to read a little bit to you. It is um, endorsed by Amnesty International UK. Uh, I just think it's a book that everybody should read. And I think, especially in the times that we're in, situations like this make us, certainly it's, it, it makes you feel very thankful for what we have. And I think it makes you feel very humble by things that other people do. And... Um, you know this this sort of is a, a similar sort of situation really so i just want to to read this little bit out now every day subby goes to see if his dad if his father's going to turn up so his, his mother and sister and uh i'm not sure if he's got one or two sisters they're in they're in the immigration camp but uh, they keep saying his father's coming on afterwards and every day he goes to look for him I put a shell to my ear and listen again real hard. I'm pretty sure I can hear just the whisper of my bar's voice in there. Calling out to me, telling me he's on his way. Telling me that it's not much longer now. Because it's already been nine whole years. And that's a long time to wait for my bar to come. Someday it whispers. And the sound of the whisper is as brilliant as a thousand stars being born. I don't tell anyone I hear him though. I just wait. And so he was actually born in the immigration detention centre and he's still there, still living there. Um, yeah, I'm nearly crying just reading that out, think of him, thinking of him waiting for his, his, his daddy to arrive. Um, so yes, I must warn you, it is quite heartbreaking. It does make you cry. And it, it's just beautifully written and such lovely characters in it. So I thought this is, uh, this is one I needed to bring on my book a day for you. So that is The Bone Sparrow 
by Zana Freilion. Okay, so last, let's get on to our bookshelf challenge. And the last word was sister. Now I found two. And I'm ashamed to say I haven't read either of them. So you can see why I'm trying to pick my TBR from my bookshelves this year. Because, yeah, I need to read, read books that are on there. Not keep buying more. So I found two. Bad Sister. This is by Sam Carrington. Someone's dead and someone's to blame. So this is a mystery. It says, when flames rip through their family home, only teenager Stephanie and her younger brother escape unhurt. Brett always liked to play with fire, but now their dad is dead and someone has to pay the price. Psychologist Connie Summers wants to help Stephanie rebuild her life. She has a new name, a young son and everything to live for. But when Stephanie receives a letter from someone she'd hoped would never find her, Connie is forced to question what really happened that night. So I read the blurb again and I'm quite excited for it. So yeah, I perhaps need to be putting that on my TBR next month. Next then, I've got Little Sister by Isabel Ashdown. And this is another thriller. A missing child, a broken mother, a sister who doesn't remember a thing. After 16 years apart, sisters Jessica and Emily are reunited. With the past now behind them, the warmth they once shared quickly returns and before long Jess has moved into Emily's comfortable island home. Life couldn't be better. But when baby Daisy disappears while in Jess's care, the perfect life Emily has so carefully built starts to fall apart. So, another really good one. I've not heard of either of those authors, but they're on my shelves and I need to get to them. So I hope you found some useful, useful um, sister books. Let's have a look now. Get rid of that. I'm trying to. Trying to get to where I am. Oh, sorry. Sorry about this. It's when when people send you messages and you get the, the photos come up say they've sent you a message you can't can't see what you're doing okay so random word generator let's see what it's not working right code the word is code. We are off getting some awful words, aren't we? <laughs> code. So the word code in the title or anything that looks like coded message or something like that. I can't think. You know, those those uh, scanners, scanner codes that you get. Barcode. That's what I'm thinking of. Oh, shall we change it? Shall we change it? I don't like that. Will change it. I can do. I make my own rules. <laughs> tragedy now. Tragedy. <laughs> yeah. We'll have tragedy. So anything that's got tragedy in the title. We'll look for that. I don't think it's much better than code really. But yeah, we'll go with tragedy. So have a look, see if you've got anything on your bookshelves and I'll catch up with you all tomorrow. Bye for now.